Hello everyone, it's Tasha, your health coach, your RN, your servant, and prophetess. I am coming today to talk with you about the Johnson & Johnson Jensen vaccine. So, we've all heard about the pause, the whole nation gasped and said, Oh no, I took a vaccine, I took the Pfizer vaccine, I took the Moderna vaccine, I took this vaccine, da, 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 da. all of that, right? Well, let's talk about it. Let's break it down and then let's walk through the process. And then after we do that, we, we can make an educated decision, you and I both, about what we need to do. Um, I've been a nurse for 20 plus years and also um, am a uh, mother to a daughter and daughters <laughs> between the ages of 18 and 49. Most of these cases have been in women between the ages of 18 to 49. Seven cases total out of 7.9, excuse me, 7.98 million. Um, there were seven cases out of 1 million, which means if you do your math, it's 0 0.8 or 8 of women that were getting cerebral thrombus. So now I'm a nurse, so I'm gonna use terms that I'm familiar with, but I will explain. So cerebral meaning brain, and thrombus meaning clot, so brain clots. So seven women had brain clots. Um, and then 0 0.9 out of 1 million women in the, in the 50 plus range at a rate of 0 0.9 developed clot. So it was one developed clot. Um, so here it is. CDC basically did their research when they had the pause, decided the benefits outweigh the risks, and that they were not going to pull the Johnson & Johnson vaccine for this reason. Because the number of ICU cases, based on the data, the 0 0.9 and 0 0.8 rate, um, if they pulled the vaccine, the cases would number in the thousands. Um, if they continue to use this, uh, use it, the ICU cases will actually number in the hundreds. So there is some benefit to it. So CDC recommendations is to proceed as normal, um, report any signs and symptoms of headache, severe headache within, I think it's a few weeks of receiving or a few days of receiving the vaccine, anything of uh, severe leg pain, severe headache, uh, change in level of consciousness, things like that you would want to report now. That is what the CDC recommends. Now, what Tasha McNeil recommends as our RN and as a mother is perhaps maybe just give the vaccine to the males because these cases have not been seen in males. I am not willing to jeopardize or risk my daughter or someone else's daughter giving them, giving them that vaccine and I'm not going to recommend uh, it to anybody. That is a decision that that person would have to make for themselves. Would I say recommend it? No, I would not. Um, however, you have to make your own decision and do what's best for you. Um, I personally have had the Pfizer vaccine. I have other family members that have had Moderna um, with no side effects and um, my immediate family has had Pfizer vaccine. So we've been fine with that and there have been no cases of within the Pfizer vaccine. Um, there are some benefits with Johnson & Johnson vaccine. It, it doesn't have to be super cold. It's only one dose. Again, ICU cases would be less. Um, but there's always a risk. And you have to decide for yourself as a healthcare consumer what you're comfortable with, what you're willing to risk. That said, I want you to proceed preferably. I would also encourage you to um, do your own research and make a decision from there. Uh, this question was actually sent in through Ask a Health Coach, PTM at gmail.com. If you have further questions, feel free to reach out to me at that uh, email. And I would love to hear from you. I would even um, mention your name uh, as a reference, a point of reference. Uh, Alika actually, uh, Pastor Alika actually. Uh, sent that question to me a few weeks ago, and um, after I've done research and prayed and sought God, God for counsel, this is what I decided to send out. Um, I pray that you have a great day, continue to embrace the great life, and I hope 
you guys will also allow me to continue to love you to health. Share this with someone that you know that needs to hear it. God bless you. Have a great day.